Welcome to Jenny Talks. Last year, Xu Jiayin, the founder and chairman of China's real estate giant Evergrande Group, was arrested. Known in China as Xu Emperor, his arrest caused a collapse in the company's stock, leading to bankruptcy and massive unemployment among its employees. What caught the attention of Chinese netizens was the dance troupe under the Evergrande Empire. This troupe consisted of 200 members, all young and beautiful women, each with both talent and looks. Many people were puzzled as to why a real estate development company like Evergrande would have a dance troupe. In fact, this Evergrande dance troupe was responsible for Shu Emperor's public relations work, providing sexual services and bribes to business partners and Chinese government officials. The recruitment standards for this dance troupe were extremely stringent, requiring members to meet the following criteria. Must be unmarried under 25 years old. Must have a sweet appearance and perfect figure. Must be over 5 feet 4 inches tall and weigh no more than 110 pounds. Must be graduates from top university dance programs and must be emotionally stable. The annual salary for these dance troupe members exceeded 1 million yuan, equivalent to $150,000, with the troupe leader Bai Shanshan earning 9 million yuan annually, equal to 1.5 millions. She owned a luxury house worth 100 million yuan. These young women are typical victims of power and sex transactions in Chinese society. China is one of the countries with the most severe wealth inequality, with a small wealthy minority controlling 80% of the wealth. In 2020, the then Chinese Premier Li Keqiang stated at a press conference that 600 million people in China had a monthly income of less than 1,000 yuan, about $150. A significant reason for this wealth disparity is the elite class's rampant plundering of social resources. Shu Emperor used these young dancers to provide services to government officials and bank leaders, thereby amassing substantial wealth. The Evergrande dance troupe under Shu Emperor had a high artistic standard. They not only performed in many important events, but also won numerous awards, making them a truly professional art troupe. A group of naturally beautiful, well-trained artists could certainly help their boss network with high-quality contacts and enter elite social circles. With the support of this troupe of beautiful dancers, Evergrande Group, originally based in Guangdong, quickly expanded its business footprint across every corner of China. At the Evergrande Group headquarters in Shenzhen, usually people could only reach the 40th floor. The higher two floors were strictly sealed off and served as the activity area for these beautiful dancers. The 41st floor was equipped with entertainment facilities and the 42nd floor was a clubhouse. Only distinguished guests invited by Shu Emperor could access these two floors. After Shu Emperor was imprisoned, many government officials who had dealings with him were terrified, fearing that he might expose them, leading to their imprisonment for the rest of their lives.